have seen many deaths, but now I'm only looking forward to one, and then I can rest. And that death isn't Noctis. I'll tell you who I think it is in this video. All right, folks, I know what you're thinking. Wait a second. What are you talking about, Dark? This is going to be a little bit crazy. But sit down. Hold on. Let me go through this. First off, if you haven't seen Kingslave, pause this video. Go watch it. It's two hours. I'll see you then. Second, if you haven't seen the Omen trailer, stop this. Watch it. I'll see you in 15 minutes. So once you're done with those two, I'm going to break down a few points of why I don't think it's Noctis that the Crystal wants to see dead, as we keep saying. The Crystal wants to see one life left, you know, to be finished and then it'd be happy and it could rest i don't think this is your normal crystal i think what this is is this is a dark crystal this is a crystal of chaos i'm going to go with the chaos theory and the chaos people here on this one and this meaning that this crystal the lucii magic and stuff like that is all dark magic why do i think that one we know the lucius christ is very dark it's got that skull motif and design it's also the lucian house is actually color of black that's why you see noctis wearing black regis wearing black and things like that now let's go through the house okay first off why isn't regis that we you know it wants dead well of course regis is using the power and the power of the crystal is actually draining his life as we see from the brotherhood anime into the into the start of the game and then into king's glaive yes i say regis is using the power to build the second wall which is draining his life now does that sound like a regular crystal of light to you no 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 that's dark magic that's bad magic that's magic that you have to give something up to do something else and that's why i think this is a dark dark crystal sorry about that i didn't realize my phone string was still on so that's why i think it's not happy it could care less if Regis dies because Regis has already given something to the crystal in order to have this wall to protect his city and his family. So then we move on to Noctis. All right, why don't I think it's Noctis that it wants dead? Well, easy enough. You know, if it was Noctis that was dead, it would have never cared if Noctis got healed. You know, back if you look back into the anime. Again, we see in the very first episode, we see that, you know, oh, Noctis gets injured by that snake creature. I don't know its name. I really wish I did. All right, and he ends up going to see Luna Freya and healing in a different city. Now, why would Regis send him away from the crystal in order to heal? Well, one, okay, maybe the crystal does want it. No, I don't think so. Right there and then, if it was a dark crystal with demon power and, you know, in death magic it would have been able to take noctis then when he was younger and more susceptible to dying why would it wait until he became an adult well that's what also made me think back to one of the uh, french videos that we got where arden sits there and tells noctis to claim the crystal's power because it's no fun to kill you as a mortal well why would he have to claim that power if the crystal wants him dead that doesn't make sense. So something tells me Noctis can become the true power of chaos. And that true power of chaos knows that there's something that can stop them. Something or someone. I don't think it's Arden. I think Arden wants to help this crystal get its true form inside of Noctis and going. So I think if you track all the way back down through, you look through the different people. It's not the Empire of Niflheim. It's not Arden. It's not Revis. It's not Kor the Immortal. It's not Gentiana. It's not Iris. It's not Sid and Cindy. You know, oh, we run through a lot of them. What about Arya Highwind? We know nothing about this lady that's always hanging around Luna, always wearing black and stuff like that. So what's going on with that one? Now, we go back into the Kingsglaive video, and you see that Nyx comes in and accepts his fate to use the power of the crystal in order to protect the town and everything else. And even in Kingsglaive, you hear the voices say, this is not the one we want. He is not a royal blood. He is not to be going. You know, so, but, you know, 
Again, Nick sits there and laughs at him, saying, you're about to lose your city. You're about to lose it all. Now, why would the crystal then turn and help Nyx if it knows if it's just going to be used for something else that it doesn't want? It's not the true person the crystal wants. So if you track down through all those through, there only leaves one left, and that'd be Miss Luna, Luna Freya. Why Luna Freya? Luna Freya seems to be the calm one in all this, the light, the calming soul of everything. Though somehow Regis sits there and bestows Luna at such a high table. Even in Kingsglaive, you see the way he looks at her, and it's just with awe and instinct that he knows something about this girl. And then we go back and look at Noctis. Noctis and Luna had a childhood. Noctis grew up for a little while there with Luna. But then we had the events of the attack on Niflheim, by Niflheim, where Luna is running with Regis, and she stops. She stops and waits for the army to run past her. Now, if she was a threat, they would have killed her without thinking. Why are they out to kill Regis and Noctis so badly over Luna Freya? Now, I don't think it's part of this whole crystal. I think you know a lot of other countries know that this is dark magic. This is bad magic. This is bad stuff. So they don't want it continuing to corrupt the world so that's why they sit here and turn and try stopping and eliminating regis eliminating noctis and protecting luna freya because i believe the crystal wants luna dead and now we're seeing evidence of another ring not the ring of the wall like the lucia like crystal crystal so now we have a second ring that we see in this little three minute snip of a new video for brotherhood in anime that we haven't seen yet so when will this anime come out longer is this going to be something they release a week or two before we get the actual game is it the secret of whatever she's holding the true king can overcome this darkness can accept the crystal and maybe put the crystal into its place and the crystal doesn't like that the crystal knows that it can't sleep if luna keeps going because if Luna stops it, it's not going to get its way. But if Luna dies by Chaos Noctis, then it Crystal can have its way, it can go do whatever, it can have fun. So that's why I think we hear the Crystal said, say, once this one is dead, I can rest. I know it's a crazy thought, but looking at it, I don't think this is a good Crystal of Light. I think it's a Dark Crystal. And it's holding something. It's not just your regular crystal. It is a dark crystal. It is a barrier crystal. It is a chaos crystal. That's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to send this to a few others and see if they agree with me or if they think I'm just cuckoo. But we'll see how it all goes. Uh, let me know your crazy theories and we'll get back to you next time. I am Dark Zeno. I will see you all out there in YouTube land.